ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hot Fix, the first Hot Fix of a brand spanking new year, Mr. Kirioff. Oh, oh Lord. fresh and clean, fresh and clean, oh, twenty-three. Clean on, clean oh. on. Oh, oh, it was a rhyme, a rhyme, sir. A rhyme. Oh my God. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is the games of 2013 or 2013, as I said in the uh, what? What was it? What video did I make? The uh, um, do the game best games um, of 2012. Yes, best games of 2012 or 20. What or 2012? What the Christ? You get what I'm saying, people? I don't care. So, Mr. Kirov, where where are we going to? What what games have we got to discuss? I'm looking at a list, sir, and the list. Is rather large, sir. Rather well, large, we've, indeed. We've got, to, we've got to give the the chaps and chapesses a rundown of what's going down. So we'll give them a list of the games, and then we shall pick three games of our choice each, and and, and give a oh, bit more information. You've got this all planned out. You've got this all case. planned out. Good lord. So I'm going to rattle off this list. It's going to be quality. There's going to be no My mistakes God. or nothing. No editing required. It's just going to be one take, one take all the way. So. Let's start out. So, we've got Bioshock Infinite, Planetary Annihilation, Armour 3, oh, Day oh, Z. Oh, hang on, hang on, too. hang on. No, what are you doing? Oh. Pan Planetary Annihilation. <gasps> you may carry on. It's going to oh. be pure. Tomb Raider, Starcraft, Heart of the Swarm. Mm. That's going to be good. Mm. The Elder Scrolls Online. No. Mm. GTA 5. I don't know, actually. No, actually, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, carry on, carry on. GTA 5, although we don't know if it's on PC yet. It better no, be. But it bloody yeah. better be. It should be. Do you want to hurry up and confirm that before... Uh, before there's trouble, things happen. There's a uh, Metro they, Last Light. They'll force my hand. They will force my <laughs> hand. I don't want my hand to be forced, but it will be. Anyway, carry on, Mr. Kirio. <laughs> Metro Last Light. I think I already said that, but I have it anyway. That's going to be good. Yeah, Crisis yeah. Three, Sim City. Ooh. Oh, Sim City. <laughs> the nostalgia. It's killing me. Aliens. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Crisis Three. Like Crisis Two was a bit of a flop, if you ask me. The reason Crisis Three is on this list is it's sort of like it could be okay. Um, and it's kind of crisis, so it's sort of that you know, it's one of these things you kind of have to look at because you're a PC gamer, and it's like, mm, okay, Sim City though, that actually looks quite good. I've seen all the uh, the demo stuff of that, and that looks pretty good. I can't wait for that. Carry on, Mr. Carry on. Oh, and actually, Aliens, Colonial Marines. Um, does anybody out there in the crowd remember AVP? Do you remember it, Mr. Carry I do. Would remember. you like to tell the people what you did with AVP? Uh, I... The original disc that you actually had with uh, AVP. I quite literally burnt it, sir. It was that bad. I broke it and then I burnt it. I set it alight. I danced Why upon the flames. Because Why it was one it? of the shittiest games I've ever played in my entire life. Do you know and what I, I hated with it? it? I um, <laughs> this is a true story. I bought the game off somewhere, Amazon probably. Registered the key on Steam. Okay, so I've got the game. Loaded it up. I was so disgusted with it. I sent the game back to Amazon and told them it wasn't fit for purpose. I then emailed Steam and had them remove it from my account because it's so bad. I have yet to do that. But that I, is what I, I did. That's that, going to be my new worst game resolution. Ever. Have it removed from my Steam account. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my one and only new resolution. So, Aliens, Colonial Marines, uh, Total War Rome 2. Ooh! Oh! Oh! That's going to be so good. <laughs> uh, Watch Dogs, Planet Side 2. I mean, obviously, Planet Side 2 is already out, but it's going to be developed even further. There's going to be new vehicles and all kinds mm, of crazy shit. It'll be shit. interesting. It'll so be an interesting watch. It's going to be good. Uh, Prison Architect, which has already got quite a bit of uh, publicity and looks yeah. to be quite the indie game, that. It looks interesting, yeah. intriguing. There's also Oculus Rift, which isn't a game, but it's like VR goggles, like virtual reality stuff for your face. Which it could, could be. be, it could be, yeah. This could be the next big thing uh, in in terms of. Oh, well, I hate that phrase, the next big thing, because you hear it all over the place. It, this could be something which does kind of take levels of immersion that little bit further. Because as far as I'm aware, the way this works is you've got it on your face, and it sort of totally encompasses your field of vision with whatever you know games being spread. I know John Carmack has done a lot um, with it, like you know, pissing about with Rage and Doom and stuff like that. So. It's very interesting, and I think, provided it's an affordable price, I mean, let's face it, it won't be when it first comes out, and support will be very weak for it. It could be something that really does take off. It's I'm, an interesting it, one to watch. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good to see where it goes. It could be really popular. It could be one of those things where, I mean, everyone eventually says, we'll bring out the next big thing, and then it turns out to be a flop. But we don't know. We don't know. It could be good. Uh, but also, all. on the subject, of it could be good, but it might not be. Dragon Age 3... <laughs> I don't know. I'm um, I'm, in two, I'm in two minds. I'm in two minds. I don't know why. Dragon we'll Age go. One was awesome. Dragon Age Two was a waste of time. So what's Dragon Age Three going to be? We we'll just go, don't know. We'll go back to that. So we'll go back to Dragon Age Three. Strike Suit Zero, which I'm loving the look of that. Republic. Oh, Republic. 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 
Welcome to the Republic. That looks quite good as well. Smite. Currently in beta. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quite a good game, that. Quite a good game, Smite. Infinity, or to give it its full name, Infinity, the quest for Earth. Um, oh, I thought it was Infinity Menendez. Infinity Menendez. No, I don't know what to make no. of Infinity because oh, yeah. it's been in development for like the last decade or something. And uh, it looks, <laughs> it, it looks amazing. This the, but isn't this the crazy procedurally generated space thing? Where yeah, you yeah, yeah. The yeah. And all that? Procedurally uh, generated space MMO. It looks really good, but it has done since it was first announced in like 2000, in like 1892. So who knows? Oh dear. Um, oh dear. Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. Pure. Abe, oh what? Nothing else to be said, pure. What? Abe, love it. Abe. Uh, there's Clang as well. Amnesia. Ah, yes. Clang, I believe Clang is like a, it's almost like chivalry. Or it's supposed to be. It's a, like a one-on-one. A -on -one yeah, it's like a dual. dual game. Yeah. Could be good, that. Be Could be interesting. Uh, yeah, Amnesia, Chivalry is having for pigs. Hang on, son. Shut your mouth. Chivalry, that's having dual mode slammed into it anyway. Yeah, so that's true. Know. I've already got Chivalry, so... Hmm. Mm. Could be problematic, that. Could be problematic. Uh, yeah, uh, Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Uh, fuck that game already. Amnesia well, scares the shit out of me. I think um, I might play that. But you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll do man mode on it, because... People seem to like that before. Because these games, they just do not frighten me. In fact, I find it quite ludicrous that people are actually disturbed by a, a, uh, a video game. you got to get in the in zone, you got to get in the zone. I am in the zone. I'm like, what is this about? Get yeah, but you're face. in the only manly zone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway the, going, the, going on, so going on, going on. <laughs> Prey 2. Prey was quite good. Yeah, no, I like Prey. Now, I like Prey, Prey 2, it, 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 uh, we don't know if that's going to come out this year. Uh, it might do, but it's kind of like, there's not that much news about it. Uh, it had some trouble with its development, but hopefully they do sort that out. Because I did like Prey. Uh, it was quite the game. It was indeed, sir. Quite the game. Rise of the Triad. That. that won't be quite the game. Uh, <laughs> Rise of the Triad. <laughs> so Rise of the Triad is a... Uh, um, how can I explain this? Uh, so you're obviously Triad, man. Killing. And it's sort of like uh, Duke Nukem 3D. The same engine. Um, obviously not this one, because it's a remake, but the old one was. Uh, and it was crazy. You had all kinds of magic and mad stuff like that. And this is a, a modern remake. Which could go really bad or could go kind of okay. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not convinced. I'm just going to leave it there. So I'm not convinced. <laughs> EverQuest next. Uh, now, this is another thing which could maybe come out at the end of the year. Or, although I really doubt it. Um, because I think they completely scrapped development and started anew. Uh, so I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Obviously, I was an EverQuest 2 addict. So anything EverQuest, I'm always going to be willing to have a look at. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, you never know. You never know. Dark Souls. No, no, I've missed one. I've missed one, son. I've missed one. Carmageddon. Reincarnation. How can you forget that? Carmageddon. <laughs> it's making Carmageddon. a comeback. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who the fuck asked for that? No one. It's awesome, it. son. What are you talking about? Carmageddon is amazing. Yeah, but absolutely how, amazing. How long has it been since the last one? I don't care, bloke. I remember driving around the theme park level, Carmageddon 2, just murdering people. When you get the springs, phew, and you just fire them for miles, and you just mow the grannies over. It was awesome, bloke. Awesome. <laughs> I still and don't buy that for a dollar. I just don't understand why it's just suddenly made a comeback. It's just really weird. <laughs> uh, Dark Souls 2. Uh, that's just going to be Dark Souls, but with a 2 on the end. Hopefully the port will be better, because the port yeah, is shit. It, now, um, yeah, and if it's got proper PC controls as well, because uh, one thing which annoys me is the fact you have to use a controller. I know you can play the game without a controller. There are quite a few fixes now, but it still isn't ideal. Oh, this is for Dark Souls. Um, I don't have a Xbox cable. For the uh, the USB cable for the controller, so I can't plug the controller into my PC because my controller is wireless. So what the hell? I can't play Dark Souls. It's so irritating because I would play that, but hopefully they fix out these. Well, they fix up the crappy port issues with Dark Souls Two. I want to see proper port, proper PC controls, and I want to see mod support in Dark Souls Two. That's what's required to make that absolutely pure. I want to see mod support in every game. Well, yeah. Anyway, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Wasteland Two. That's that's this year. Uh, It'd be Grim interesting to see where that goes. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just leave it at that. It would be interesting yeah. to see what happens. I don't know a lot about Wasteland 2, to be honest. So it's like, I don't know. Grim Dawn. Well, that's... Wasteland was the very... Um, oh, yeah, it, it's ancient. I forget when it came out. It, it was like 80s, I think. Yeah. Um, basically the precursor to Fallout and games like that. So it could so Wasteland be. 2 could be the natural progression of that. We hope, anyway. There's also Grim Dawn. And Command and Conquer. And Grim Dawn. Now, Grim Dawn, I believe that is the uh, from the people who made Titan's Quest or Titan Ooh. Quest. And that was quite good. Yeah, that could. Um, I, I I like Titan's Quest. That was good. Yeah. So it's 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 that style of Diablo-y, torchlight-y, 
Titans questy uh, thingy majiggy, but you're killing the dead. This could be good, and it's also co-op, I think. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We've also got Command and Conquer, which I don't know what to make of. Oh dear. Oh fucking deary, deary me. So Command and Conquer, um, I believe they said we are having no single player campaign. And then they said, no, sorry, we are having a single player campaign after everybody on the internet attacked them. Physically, probably. But most definitely verbally. Because that is terrible. Command and Conquer games have over the top single player campaigns. It's just a staple of the It's one of the, of the best game. parts of the yeah, game, isn't it? it? It's, it's, you can't just yeah. take it out. You can't just take it out, and all this free-to-play talk and all the rest of it. The only saving grace at the moment I can see is the fact it uses the Frostbite 2 engine, which, of course, is the Battlefield 3 engine. Uh, it'll be a modified version, of course. Uh, so it should look good, but I don't know. This is one of these games where Command & Conquer is obviously very close to our hearts. I mean, for God's sake, we're called Unit Lost. The whole name of the channel and everything we do comes from a unit dying in Command & Conquer. Unit Lost. Unit Lost. That's where we come from. So to see it butchered... Well, it makes me sick, sir. And to be honest, Command and Conquer 4 was the most rancid piece of shit I've ever seen in my life, and I don't want to talk oh, about God, it. Anymore. It was terrible. Let's move on. So let's move on to something a bit, a bit more cheerful. End of Nations. Quite a good game. That quite a good game. Yeah, I did enjoy End of Nations. The uh, this is free to play RTS as well, but it actually worked quite well. It's more like World in Conflict. If, if anybody's played that, uh, with the supply drops and stuff like that. Pretty good. Pretty good. Though. Pretty good. And last of all, we've got Xenonauts. I think that's how I pronounce that. Xeno North. Yeah. yeah. Zeno. For some reason, Zeno. I want to say Xenon, but that's like, ain't that what light bulbs what? are made out of now? Yeah, Zenon isn't light. that an element? Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? I don't know. It's a gas, ain't it? XE, Xenon. There's got to be a scientist in the subscribers. Let us know. What is it? What's Xenon? What Tell are you talking me. about? I'm a scientist of wind. <laughs> um, yeah, so Xeno North. This is the, um, the, the, the XCOM traditional remake of the old XCOM with slightly better graphics but still pretty 2d 3d ish isometric graphics like so it, it it looks okay and it had a lot of hype but then XCOM came out uh from fraxis which totally you know took all the hype away um but that was pretty easy let's be honest okay it was difficult at points but this looks more of a faithful recreation of the old XCOM. so this could be pretty good again it's one to watch definitely so we're going to move on son to the our our three choices sir no, I've got my three here. Are you prepared, son? Are you prepared? Um, I don't think we'll have enough time, but I'm prepared. <laughs> well, I'm prepared. it's going to be dead quick anyway. So, Republic, I'm looking forward to that because that was a kickstarted thing, as is everything these days, which is you guide a lad, or a woman even, I do apologise, around an Orwellian city by hacking into places and guiding them around to save their life. It looks quite good. There's not a lot of running and gunning. There's not a lot of combat, but it looks to be quite a good little sort of mix of uh, puzzle and point and click and RPG kind of thing. It looks to be quite nice. The other thing is Dragon Age 3, because Dragon Age Origins was unbelievably good. Unfortunately, Dragon Age 2 was, as we've already said, a pile of rancid shit. So, when they say that they're trying to make it, it more like the first one, and with bits of the second one, I don't know, it could be excellent, or it could be horribly disappointing, although nothing is disappointing compared to Dragon Age 2. So really, compared <laughs> to that, it's probably going to be the best game in the world. And finally, son, Strike Suit Zero, because it makes me happy. Because it's flying a combat suit in space, shooting On space fighters. On the subject fighters. of this, um, can somebody please tell me in the comments what this game is that I'm thinking of? I'm sure it was a PlayStation 1 game. You were in, like, a Japanese mecha-style space suit thing, and you, you had, like, hundreds of rockets that all locked on it, it'd go... And fire, like, 16 rockets off. I can't remember what it's called. Somebody please tell me. Um, okay, so for my games, um, well... Well, I don't know. <laughs> Which isn't really a good answer. Because it's like probably about every game I'm kind of like... So you see, I've changed, son. I've changed. I look forward to everything now. I don't think there is a game out there which I'm really absolutely like... I cannot believe I need my... Hmm, I don't know. Total War Rome 2, probably. Uh, that is like I need that. I was going to say, surely Rome 2. That, I mean, that's going to yeah, be Yeah, I, I do need that. Good. Let's be honest. Okay, so what do I need? I also need Company of Heroes 2. But that just looks like Company of Heroes. But I don't care. I need it. Um, I'm pretty. F you know what? I'm looking forward to Armor Three as well. As strange as it sounds, I don't know why. I don't even think I'll play it that much, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, Metro Last Light as well. It's it's like I don't. Oh God! <laughs> it's just I don't know. It, it's like I'm 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 looking forward to a year of gaming, Mr. Kirov. That's what I'll say. A year of gaming, and hopefully we'll get crazy things which just crop up out of nowhere, like we had last year. 
and like, oh my god, look at this game, I cannot believe it. Of which I'm trying to find an example of in my mind at the moment, but I cannot remember, which is how bad my mind actually is, because it's still <laughs> addled, is that even a word? I think it is, from, uh, well, it's wrecked, let's say, it's absolutely wrecked from New Year's Eve. I know that feeling. I'm still off my face. What the <laughs> hell? I want to go to bed. <laughs> Hey, what game came out of nowhere last year? We, we've got to get this in before I'm kind we go. Of, I'm ca- See, um, I want to say FTL, but FTL didn't really come out of nowhere, did it? It was like... It, yeah, but that'll do, FTL. Okay, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> follow me on Twitter, which is at UnitLostGaming. Follow Kirioff, he's at Kirioff. And uh, please follow me, or well, us, me, whatever, all of us, on Twitch, which is UnitLost... No, which is www.twitch.tv slash UnitLost. Oh, dear. It was the worst ending to a video ever, Mr. Kirioff. And at that, I'll get my coat. Too low.